Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to overhaul the insert in this Park Industries petrol lighter that is equipped with a solid foam fuel cell. As you can see, the flint tube is obstructed. The flint spring is not able to reach up far enough to push against the file wheel or to push a flint that should be in there uh, before it up against the file wheel. It is not reaching that far and that's experience will tell you that's because there is a degraded decayed dried up concreted flint that is obstructing the tube while we're at it we're going to go ahead and remove the old scrawny wick that doesn't really look substantial enough to hold a flame in the first place and we're going to replace it with a copper woven Zippo type wick. I am not going to replace the wadding in this insert. I am just going to reuse the solid foam fuel cell. It can be kind of difficult figuring out how you're going to get that foam fuel cell out of there without scarring it up. But the best way that I have figured out is just take a poker, something that's going to reach fairly uh, far down in there and poke it straight down in that wick hole and just putting that much pressure down through there will give you enough that you can gain purchase with your fingertips don't squeeze it very hard and don't just go jerking it around use a measured tempered approach or you're liable to rip it right in half but it came out okay and you can see that sorry looking wick that was down in there not much to it they really didn't come with much of a wick from the factory and this one's dirty on top of that now that we have the insert all cleaned out of the old materials and ready for the new wick we go ahead and take and just slide that wick right down the chimney I have been told in the comments section before that I'm doing it wrong by sliding it in from the bottom, but for me that's just always been easier if the wick fits. If you want to slide it in from the top, go ahead, but if you slide it in from the bottom, then it doesn't have to feed in as far. That's the only way I was thinking of it. Once you get it in there, then you want to go ahead and position kind of bend the wick into place because that fuel cell is going to fit so tightly. Now I understand that some of you are going to say you should be putting this in a S shape and if you want to do that, if you want to take the time for that then do it. That's fine. I'm not going to argue with you. Um, but I just haven't seen that much difference or any difference in the efficiency or function of the lighter. So they came with just a wick running straight down them. And so that's the way that I have re-wicked these to this point is pushing it back in there and then just snipping it off. And I have had no problem. I have no complaints. As I said, if you want to put the S shape and use that whole wick, then do it. Um, I thought about it after I made this video that I should have done it just to demonstrate. It wouldn't be that hard to do. You're just going to be stuffing your insert full of more material there and it's already pretty tight. You could also just fold it up and put it along the bottom of the insert to where it's just seated down there underneath sort of like where you're felt pad would have normally been. I should have cleared the flint tube while I had the insert naked, but I am a dumbass and I forgot. So I'm going to now spin this drill bit in there and be very careful not to get the dried up and degrading dust from the old flint 
contaminated into that solid foam fuel cell. It's not like it would ruin it or anything. It's just going to stain it and make it look dirty. And it's not, uh, not a look I really like. So uh, anyway, I was able just to spin this drill by hand. And you can see the uh, degraded old particles that were floating around down in there. And eventually got them out, blown out, cleaned out. And then we are going to get a new flint installed in it. We we'll go ahead and test it with the flint spring one last time. And you can see now that it reaches all the way up to the file wheel where it needs to. So we can go ahead and drop that new flint down the tube and get the flint spring and flint spring screw tightened down behind them. Remember to think your project through before you start also because I really felt like an idiot when I got the wick and fuel cell back in there and then the, I realized that I still had to clean out the flint tube. If I'd have just thought about that beforehand, that would have been a simple thing. And the problem is, I don't always do both things at once. So I'm not usually thinking about them in conjunction with each other. But again, if I just sat down for a moment before I started the project, I could have saved myself some trouble. So I get this wick cut off. And like I said, you don't have to do that. As a matter of fact, it might be a good idea to leave it on there so that you've got some to pull up as you singe and burn and otherwise destroy the wick through use. I'm going to slide this into this old, I think late 40s, maybe 1950s, uh, Park Industries, Park Sherman, Springfield, Illinois case. Actually, it was a Storm King case with an old Park Sherman from Springfield, Illinois insert in it. But we are going to use this newer aluminum insert in that case simply because I don't want to show off the lighter that it goes in just yet. I want to save that lighter for the individual lighter video that um, will really show it off. It's a special park lighter, probably the coolest that I have had to date. The solid fuel cell seems to hold fuel efficiently enough. I have a couple of examples. The Storm King that we talked about earlier obviously lights every time, works like a charm. Um, you saw exactly the wick that went into that. But I also have a slim model. You've seen this lighter as well. I told you that I wished I had done the repair video on it. But both of these lighters light very efficiently. When you spin the file wheel, these lighters light. Despite the short wick and despite the solid fuel cell, every time that you light them, they work. Until next time.